Some shots weren't falling for us, and I just felt like I was able to have a strong attack, and my shot was falling tonight. So really it wasn't about the record or anything like that. It was just about doing what we needed to do to get the win. Do you think, do you think the team was a little bit distracted by, you know, by your pursuit of the record, and maybe that was why you guys struggled a little bit? I honestly don't even on? know if they knew about it. No, they knew <laughs> about it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, they didn't act like it, and um, I don't know. I just think... It was our first CAA game, I mean, not our first game, but, you know, starting conference, it's been a while. It's tough to play against CAA teams, and we have to be ready for every team because, obviously, we do have that target on our back. Mm -hmm. This Towson team, actually, when I look at their record, they've been going along pretty strong, you know, at 10-2. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, we knew that they were a great team. They've beaten some really good teams, and their record's phenomenal also, and they've gotten some new transfers, new players. So they're a whole different squad this year, and um, it was it was exciting to see what they had and um, see how we were going to stand up against them. I feel like you played better in the second half. Yeah. Uh, we weren't rebounding well in the first half. We were getting our hands on the balls, but you know, tipping it and not coming off, coming up with those loose balls. And um, I think rebounding and defense was the key to the second half more than anything. What was what was the mood at halftime, and what was Coach Martin like at halftime? To be honest, it wasn't happy. <laughs> she was not happy. Um, I think word for word, she said. The only positive is that we're winning right now. And I completely agree with her. I had her back on that. And um, we weren't playing Delaware basketball. We were walking the ball up the court, not attacking like we can. And uh, I think it helped us come out with a little more fire in that second half. Is, is, is this kind of a good wake-up call for you guys in terms of, okay, this is what it's going to be like mm -hmm. in the conference mm -hmm. on a regular basis? Yeah, and some of our players haven't played in the CAA yet, so um, I definitely think it's a wake-up call, and it shows every team's phenomenal, and you can't just sleepwalk through any games in this uh, conference. Cindy say anything to you? She came up with that she said, anything to you after you broke the record? She said, great job, and she said, enjoy the feeling. So... Um, she knew what it was like to once break that record, and I guess she really wanted me to enjoy that moment as much as I could. She didn't want to play it one-on-one? -on -one, like, <laughs> she didn't say anything about that. She actually said she should have worn bigger heels, so. <laughs> as far as, like, your where does this I always have put individual honors behind any team honors, and we've done some amazing things this year as a team, so, um, I would definitely put them behind games like Penn State and even tough games like Maryland. But um, this individual honor is a team honor as well. I wouldn't be able to have done it, with, done it without my teammates' passes and their screens. Um, I have a phenomenal supporting cast, so this is a team award for sure. And um, it definitely means a lot. It was a great feeling. You guys excited to come out and see all the people? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We actually heard during walkthrough that it might be a sold-out crowd. and. Um, we were excited to see who was going to come see us tonight because, you know, we've been away from the Bob right. for a little while. And uh, right before we were getting called out, I said to Parker, it's nice to be home. So um, we definitely had that crowd behind us. Almost like the same game. Yeah, I know. And they propelled us for sure. <laughs>